Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So the other day I got a package outside my door from Urban Decay and it's always a fun time when I get a PR box from Urban Decay, mainly because I just never know what they're sending because I feel like Urban Decay releases things so often that you just never know what's in that super secret box. But once I opened it and saw the new Naked Petite Heat palette, I knew I wanted to come on here and do a review video because you guys know I did do a full review on my original Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I'll link that video down below in case you guys want to know my full thoughts on this. But once this Petite Heat palette was teased online, I know a lot of people were either really excited about it, but more than anything, a lot of people were really curious, myself included, as to how this differed from the original Naked Heat. I mean, obviously, there's a major size difference, there's a price difference, we'll talk about all of that. That. but in terms of the shades that are in here I was really curious to see some side-by-sides because Urban Decay does claim this new petite heat palette has six brand new shades that have never been seen before but when you open it up and see the warm tone shades that are in here it is very very reminiscent of some of the shades in the original Naked Heat so in today's video we will be doing a full review on this palette I will show you guys swatches of this palette as well as swatch comparisons of similar shades from the original Naked Heat and basically I'll be telling you guys if I honestly think that this new petite heat palette is worth your time or investment especially if you already have the original Naked Heat. First things first this is the little PR package that I got from Urban Decay it was so cute because it opens up like a little matchbox and then the petite heat palette was just resting in here and you guys can see the little matches in the background so cute. This is the box that the palette comes Comes in really really adorable on the back you guys can see all six of the shades and here we have a look at the actual palette the palette itself is just in a plastic case and then all of this writing is in a metallic gold foil the thing I do like about this is because it's all plastic none of it is chrome or mirrored it doesn't really hold fingerprints there is a decent sized mirror here at the top and then these are the six shades that you are getting five of these shades are matte that would be all five of these over here and then this first shade here I would describe as like a satin finish this little palette retails for $29 and I don't believe it's available yet but it should be available really soon and as far as I know this is a permanent palette to the Urban Decay line let's go ahead and jump right into full palette swatches so you can see all six of these shades swatched on my arm here are all of the shades that you're getting in the new naked petite heat palette from left to right we have inhale vibrate hot spell wild thing heist and strike so now let's go ahead and discuss the formula of this palette like I said there are five mattes and one satin in terms of the mattes these shades are really really powdery which I do feel like makes the formula really really blendable I had absolutely no issues getting these shades to blend on the eyes considering how powdery they are I didn't have any fallout using these either which I was pretty shocked by they they're really pigmented, they're easy to build and blend. Honestly, I don't really have any issues with this formula. In terms of the formula of the satin finish, it's quite a bit less powdery than the mattes, but again, had no issues. It delivered full pigmentation if you packed it on with a flat stiff brush, but if you used it with the fluffy brush, you could also really blend it out as a brow bone highlight. Quality wise, I don't think this palette has any issues. I'm very happy with all of the colors and the formula of all of these colors. Now let's go ahead and discuss the color selection of what's in this palette. Okay, let's be perfectly honest with ourselves. These are all shades that we have seen before repeated over and over again. While I don't mean that to seem like a bad thing, it's just something to keep in mind. I feel like a lot of people will look at this palette and think, oh my goodness, orangey tones. I love those tones. But if you already love those tones, given all of the warm palettes that are on the market you probably already have these but here's where I have the biggest issue with this palette and this may be a good thing or a bad thing just depending on what you already have in your collection and the type of eyeshadow looks that you love Urban Decay claims this palette has six brand new never before
Morrisine shades. However, if you are looking into this palette, you've probably already seen and or potentially already own the original Naked Heat. And here's just a little side by side for you guys. The Petite Heat is on the top and the Naked Heat is on the bottom. And if you guys are matching up shades, you might see that a lot of these seem replicated. Just to further prove my point, here are swatches of the Naked Heat palette swatched right next to the Petite Heat palette. The Naked Heat is across the top of my arm and the Petite Heat is across the bottom. You guys can see that I matched up some shades. Inhale from the Petite Heat looks just like Ounce from the Naked Heat. Vibrate from the Petite Heat looks like Chaser. Hot Spell looks like Sauced. Wild Thing looks sort of like He Devil. Wild Thing is quite a bit more orange though. He Devil does have a lot more brown in it. Heist is just like Cayenne and Strike looks just like Enfuego. So yeah, Urban Decay, what are you doing to us? Do you think that we wouldn't notice that when you swatch these palettes next to each other, five of the six shades have almost identical dupes. I mean, it would have been different if Urban Decay said, hey, we took six of the most popular colors in our original Naked Heat, put it in a nice, slim, compact, travel-friendly palette for you guys, and we didn't try to be sneaky by changing up the names, honestly, for no reason, because the shades are practically identical. I just feel like that's a little weird. I mean, again, did they think we wouldn't notice? Because it's it's pretty obvious. If you are a fan of the original Naked Heat and you really do like any of those six colors that I mentioned that are almost identical in the Petite Heat, you might actually enjoy the fact that this is a smaller palette. It's much more travel friendly. It's much more compact. The Petite Heat is a really nice way to have some of these staple matte warm tone shades in a really small travel friendly palette. Or if you're someone who really didn't want to invest in the original Naked heat, maybe because you weren't a fan of the shimmers that were in here or whatever the case may be. In that case, the petite heat might be exactly what you're looking for because this is a way that you can get some nice warm colors to pull in with other palettes you might already own. Perhaps if you haven't jumped on the warm eyeshadow trend bandwagon quite yet and you're looking to dip your toe in but you don't want to invest the $54 in this large palette, this might be a good way to go. However, with all of that being said, if you already own the original Naked Heat, do you really need the Petite Heat? In my opinion, no, because the only shade in here that is significantly different from anything in the Naked Heat would be Wild Thing, this kind of orangey brown color. And while that particular shade might be unique as to what's in the Naked Heat, it is not unique as to what is in other palettes like the Modern Renaissance, like the Huda Beauty Warm Browns. I mean, at this point, there are so many other warm tone eyeshadow palettes that have shades that are pretty much identical to all of these. The Naked Heat has shades that is pretty much identical to all of these. So now I'll quickly show you guys some side-by-sides of a couple other warm tone eyeshadow palettes that I know are really popular, that I know a lot of you guys already own. Firstly, I'll do a side-by-side -side next to the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. So here we have a look at the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat palette next to the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. Next up, let's do a quick side-by-side -side next to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. So here we have a look at those two side by side. On top, we have the Naked Petite Heat. On the bottom, we have the Modern Renaissance. And then finally, I'll show you guys a side by side next to my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. So here are those two next to each other. We have the Urban Decay Petite Heat next to the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. And now finally, for some housekeeping information, just to let you guys know, this palette says the bulk was made in the US with US and or imported ingredients and it was assembled in the Dominican Republic. In terms of the amount of product you get in this palette, each of these pans holds 1.3 grams a piece, which is a full-size Urban Decay eyeshadow. If you multiply that by the six pans you're getting, that means that you're getting 7.8 grams 
total. That means that you're paying $3.72 per gram for this palette. Just to put that into perspective, you are paying $3.46 per gram for the original Naked Heat. So that means you are paying a little bit more of a premium for this smaller palette, which is pretty common. But I don't think the price per gram that you're paying is anything ridiculous or a ripoff or anything. I will say the only thing that is a head scratcher is the fact that these aren't really new colors the way that Urban Decay claims them to be. That's a little weird. But anyways, that wraps up my review on the new Urban Decay Petite Heat Palette. Please let me know in the comments down below if this palette is on your wish list or if it's a pass for you. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye.